Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to the channel. As always, I'm your host, Mike Hernandez. And I wanted to start off today by saying Happy Father's Day to all the hardworking fathers uh, that are in my life. Uh, my dad specifically, thanks for putting up with me. I'm rounding 36. I know it wasn't easy, <laughs> but I appreciate you the most. Um, all you guys are holding it down for your families, you hardworking providers, spiritual leaders. I salute you today. Father's Day is a very special day for me. As some of you know, I've been fortunate uh, to be involved with foster care and be a foster dad for the last 11 years. So my list of children is around eight, give or take. Um, but yeah, I love all them crazies. Love all my babies. I got one right now who's in basic training. Today is June 16th. He called me this morning, wished me happy Father's Day. Made my day, to be honest with you. But today we're gonna do my first impression of the Jeep Gladiator. Um, I had the privilege of looking at number one, number two and number three um, ever here in the West Valley of Arizona. Um, one of them was a base model Sport S um, soft top, and the other one was an Overland Edition hard top um, with a Mopar lift and 35s. So without further ado, let's get into it and we'll talk Gladiator. Okay, so right off the bat, 2020 Overland Edition white. Mopar lift. What do you think, man? Cool. cool. And we got 35s Toyos on the Overland Edition. Thanks for taking for a spin. It's just cruising. 30. Almost 1,000 RPM. Bring in bed liner. Yeah, you can get down. Now, this isn't what I want, but these guys can't keep them in stock. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, it actually is just like almost. What's the um? It's just a sport, right? A sport. sport yeah. Forty-five five out the door. See that? I can I can get down with this. If it has max though, because that's what I want. I wonder how much the uh, diesel is going to change the price. Because it's new. Oh. oh, is it? Does it have like governors and stuff, or it doesn't record uh, mileage? It doesn't let you turn on. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> so these are the class seats, just like the JL. I like it. Don't drive it away. And then this is the 3.6. You guys have a date yet on the diesel? First off, I want to thank Frankie over at the uh, dealership, I think it's Sands, um, over here in the West Valley for giving me the opportunity to take a look at those two. Um, the first one they had there was one that somebody ordered, so the day it got there, the guy came and picked it up and I couldn't check it out. Um, he knew those two weren't exactly what I wanted, but he said, you know, come check these out, get your hands on them, do a test drive, um, get a feel for what you want. If you do, you know, hopefully want one, I'll sell one to you. Um, but really nice guy, you know, no pressure. I wasn't gonna go buy one. You guys know that it's not time. I like to take my time, do my research. Um, maybe next year I'll start considering actually purchasing one. This video is not gonna get into like like trim levels and the different options you can get. Um, this video is essentially a an opinion, um, my opinion as a jeeper in the community as to what I think about these Jeep Gladiators. So first and foremost, <laughs> in my uh, in my professional life and behavioral health, we, we don't say weaknesses, we say strengths and needs. 
because we're strengths based. Stupid. I say strengths and weaknesses because that's me and that's the way I do stuff in my professional life. I'm not allowed to. So we're gonna go strengths and weaknesses. This vehicle, in terms of strengths, checks off a lot of boxes that I need. For example, um, I am not a big, like, full-size truck kind of guy, you know? I, I just don't like them like that. They have their niche. I'm not knocking on them. For me personally, that's not the way I want to go. Um, we just got rid of my wife's Gen 1 Raptor to get our JL. If you guys saw that video, check it out. It's also in the list here on my page. Um, and it left me needing a hauler. Um, I don't need to haul 10,000 pounds. You know, I have nothing that big. I just have a small 20-foot uh, boat that only seats eight people. You know, it's got a dual axle trailer, it's somewhere around 5,000 pounds. So this Gladiator will be perfect for us to go back and forth to the lake, take vacation, whatever. Um, again, mid-size model, 7,600 pounds is where you're gonna be at with these ones with max tow. First and foremost, that's what I need. Um, so that's a strength. The other thing about it too is, you know, it seats five. So we're a family of four, sometimes five when my son gets back, or is on leave or what have you. Um, and that's perfect for us. Um, I also have a third row in my JK, so it fits into what we need. Um, as far as strengths, you know, I, I, it has decent power, and I'm gonna say that's a strength, but it, I'm also gonna talk about it in weaknesses. Um, it is gonna have an option for a diesel, quote unquote. I mean, it's something that Jeep says they're gonna do, but as I go to the dealerships and talk with these guys, they have like no idea when that's gonna happen, or it, they won't give them any information on pricing, none of that. Um, I really would like to go the way of a diesel Gladiator um, just because I am more of a fan of that motor than I am the gas motor and I really don't like V6 motors. Um, but in terms of strengths, you know, it's going to be more of an overlander for us. I haven't decided on tire size yet. I, I, I do know that I want to go a minimum of a 37, maybe a 38. Um, and then if by some strange chance I do kind of go overboard, uh, maybe a 40, I don't know. I still haven't decided. I don't want to do 35 or lower. I'm not going to leave it stock. Um, still want to maintain all of its normal driving characters. I know that's funny to say with 37s, um, but that's going to be the niche I believe you're going to see. Um, if you guys didn't see, I posted up on that on my Overland Expo video. The way out concept that's there has the Mopar lift. And if you get the Rubicon Highline fenders, um, you can fit 37s on that. And, and it's, it's perfect, right? For a little mid-sized truck that's gonna do some off-roading, you're there. This is not a crawler. The, the Jeep Gladiator is not a crawler. You know, the, the internet is so funny. Uh, people going crazy because, oh, that departure angle and it's so stupid. You can't compare a Gladiator to a Wrangler. It's a different vehicle altogether. Jeep is the only manufacturer who's got an open top, doors come off, truck on the market, straight axle. That's why I think they're amazing. So those are the strengths. In, in terms of weaknesses or needs, um, there are some. For example, these things are too expensive, and, I, and I'll be the first one to say that. I mean, I have no problem in dropping you know, money on, on a vehicle, but the issue that I have with these Gladiators is that the top Rubicon models are easily $72,000. The Overland Edition that you saw, the sticker on that was $60,000. And for me, I have a problem with that. It's not a V8, uh, it's not big horsepower. Um, it, your payload is only 7,600 you know, 7, pounds. Um, and you're getting into like Gen 1, Gen 2 Raptor territory. You're getting into one ton truck territory, you know? Um, clearly, Jeep feels very highly of their Gladiator. So because of that, um, I'm not gonna do Rubicon. I'm not gonna do even the Overland Edition model because the markup on them, in my opinion, doesn't get you too far in the way of options. For me personally, I really like the base model Sport S that will give you the max tow, and that's it. I, I don't even need, you know, the lockers of the Rubicon or the 41 transfer case. Those things actually belong in my crawler or my, my JK and not in this truck. Um, this truck is not going to do the same things like my, my Wrangler, but I still am going to be able to participate in um, overlanding and off-roading. So, with that being said, um, when you saw I was looking over the sticker price, that Sport S is right around $45,000 um, as that one was optioned. And like I said, I could get down with that. Uh, $72,000? No way. No way. I think it's way overpriced. 
Um, all I need is max tow and I'm still debating on whether I want to go uh, diesel and the main reason on that is the price. Um, you know, the diesel does boast uh, 450, 460 foot-pounds of torque, which I like. On an 8-speed transmission, that's going to be awesome. You know, running 37, 38s, maybe 40s. Um, I think that's perfect. <sighs> One of the concerns I do have is if they are going to use that eco diesel, there are some issues that have been going on with that that I've been watching very closely. But again, it has a warranty. But if you guys followed me through Instagram on my JK, I had some issues and had to replace the transmission and Jeep honored their warranty. So I'm, there are some things that I am looking at. All in all, I honestly think that a Sport S with a max tow package, either diesel or gasoline, we'll see, um, is gonna be the way we go to facilitate the needs of the family. And that's it. Uh, Jeep, I love the product. I love the design. I, I think it's actually, it looks really cool. Some people think it's ugly. Um, it's Americana. I mean, Jeep is American history. I love everything about it. As a matter of fact, I've been slowly converting on my Toyo Bros to go to Jeep because I really appreciate, you know, the last seven years of the two that I've had, this third one that's in, in um, the, the list right now or is in circulation, my wife has, and then I'm gonna move into the Gladiator. So that's just my opinion. Today's show was brought to you by Overland Arizona. If you know my buddy Joey, good dude. Him and his wife Candy, love them at Overland Arizona. If you don't follow them, follow them on Instagram. Um, gave me this shirt. You're gonna see a lot of content between him and I in the future. Um, he is one of my Toyo bros. Like myself, I was a Toyo guy who uh, made the leap to Jeep and have absolutely loved it. Um, so you are gonna see some more content from he and I. Uh, like, subscribe guys. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. This video isn't too long, but just again, an opinion on how I feel. Thank you for your support, guys. I'll catch you soon. Needs, we're not, we're positive, we're not, uh, What's up, man? You trying to get in here? What do you think about that gladiator? Cool. Cool? So, Mike, you do.